All right, all month long, we're highlighting stories in our community of hope and recovery for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I sat down with one survivor who has an important message for our community. I didn't feel anything, I didn't feel bad. Um, it was just a pre-screening, so that's what started it all. The news came as a surprise. Nobody in my family that I was aware of had it, and then I don't have any of the markers for the genetics of breast cancer. Carly Kornick says she got a referral from her OBGYN for a mammogram. Which I didn't take seriously. I just kind of was like, oh, I'll do that later. And then when I went to schedule my next exam, uh, that was with the paperwork. I was like, oh, I better get that done. She's going to be upset with me if I don't do it. So I got it scheduled. When she went in, she was asked to go back for a biopsy. And then another biopsy, and then another biopsy. And um, yeah, I didn't, I thought 40 was early. Carly's diagnosis came the summer of 2019. I had two types of cancer in my left breast. Um, and so the um, diagnosis for the one type of cancer was going to be a mastectomy. Big life-changing decisions were up ahead. You have to decide at that time, do you want to do just the one side that has cancer? Or do you want to go ahead and do both for preventative measures or for symmetry. Ultimately, we decided that I would do a double mastectomy um, and then we would do immediate um, preparations for reconstruction. Uh, and by the end of 2019, Carly could say she was cancer free. So then you're kind of on a five year um, just watch, I guess, for um, your next cancer. So the, the cancer that follows or the cancers that follow breast cancer is going to be bone, liver, and kidney. So those are what we're on the watch for right now. As she looks back on her journey, she wants to make sure others know this. Take it seriously, make the appointment. That's probably the biggest thing that I would say. And a reminder, the American Cancer Society's Pink Out the Park is taking place this weekend. We have all that information right there on your screen. The MC for the event, our very own Danelle Confair.